We welcome in one of the stars of the game, Monte Ball, who for the fourth time in his career went over 200 yards rushing in this game. And Monte, this is a question I think a lot of guys would like to answer, would dream of answering, but compare your three Rose Bowl berths of your career. Where does this one stack up in terms of how satisfying it is to be going to Pasadena? Right, right, yeah. I mean, the, the last two were most definitely special, but um, I think everything that we've been through this year, including myself, you know, personally off the field, and to still see that we all fought and stuck with the plan and stuck with each other and to make it back, you know, back to Pasadena, it says a lot about this entire program. Take yourself back to, you're talking about the off the field stuff yeah. over the summer, take yourself back to that moment. Think about yeah, where you yeah. were. How does it compare to where you are right now? Oh, yeah, it was a very, very unfortunate situation for myself. Um, you know, I was attacked, you know, by five people. But uh, I believe it made me stronger. It it, it allowed for me to, to really see, you know, how, you know, some people are in this world. Um, but, you know, I made sure to block it out and keep focusing with my teammates and make sure not to show it, you know, in practice or in meetings that, you know, hey, I'm still here to fight. Monte, we've really enjoyed watching you over the years <laughs> and watching Wisconsin offense. But I don't think I've ever seen that offense <laughs> execute like they did tonight. Um, it was, um, like I said, we, we had a great week of preparation. The coaches did a great job with putting us in position to succeed. And us players, you know, players play. And I believe we did a great job of executing the plan and keeping the energy on our sideline. What, what changed the offense as the year went on? You got a little bit of a slow start, and then there was a certain point where it just took off. Why did that happen? My energy. The energy. Uh, at times, you know, where we lost games early in the season, we didn't have the energy that you know the other team had on their sideline. So, you know, as a leader and a captain of this team, I made sure to tell everybody that you know that's one thing that we're missing. Energy and emotion plays you know heavily into into a game, and I made sure to tell everybody we got to keep spreading it throughout the sideline. At what point in this game? Because when you have a dominant performance like you had today as an offense, at what point did you guys look around and say, we just can't be stopped today? Um, um, right when we went to the locker room, you know, halftime, um, we, all, we all made sure to tell everybody to keep, keep, keep our foot on the gas. Keep your foot on the gas because, you know, Nebraska, they're known for coming back. They're a great team. They have great players over there. But we wanted to make sure that, you know, we wanted to keep fighting and make sure to come out with a W this time. But, um, you know, everyone made sure to, to keep fighting. Well, you guys ran inside, outside, you ran <laughs> all around town. And, you know, to do that, obviously the offensive line had to play awful well. Oh, of course. Yeah, they, they understand that we can't do anything without them. They understand that, you know, with, 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 with them we, we, we can succeed if they play their best. And, and also with Derek Watt, the fullback, he did a great job, you know, this game. And the wide receivers blocking that field did a great job too. Look at that, Howard. Giving some love to the fullback. <laughs> <laughs> Those are things I expect out of this guy. <laughs> That's what I expect. Monte, how much did you look at the last Nebraska game as a, as a team and as an offense? Uh, a lot. Um, you really get the opportunity to play the same team again, so we wanted to make sure that we were going to really look back on that film and, and really see what we didn't do in the second half and make sure that we weren't going to do it throughout practice and, and, and weren't going to do it this, this game. What were some of those things? Um, energy. <laughs> the energy and letting off the gas. You can clearly see that we did going into the second half last time we met them, and we made sure that that wasn't going to happen again. You know, there were two other guys that played really big, big performances, your other running backs, Gordon and White. Talk about that relationship yeah. and, <laughs> and how you guys coexist in the backfield together. Man, I was really glad. I was waiting for the day to see Melvin to really explode because we all know what he's capable of doing. And really, f it felt good to see him grow and, and really, you know, bring a lot to this team. And James White, we all know what he, what he can do. And just to see him, you know, battle through what he's been battling through and to still stick with this team and fight and put up, you know, the stats that he has, it really says a lot. I, I really have a great relationship with them. Monte Ball catching fire at exactly the right time. Seventh time in the last eight games he's gone over 100 <laughs> yards. The Badgers scoring 70 and they are headed back to Pasadena and you see Monte Ball continuing to add to his record as he is now four touchdowns ahead of Travis Prentice the all time record holder in terms of touchdowns in FBS college football Monte Ball adding three more on this day now 82 in his career.